and Britain's beaches could be closed to present the resurgence of coronavirus. Resurgence of coronavirus, according to the Health Secretary Matt Hancock, yesterday Bournemouth, Christchurch and Pool Council declared a major incident after tens of thousands of people defied police to stay away and descended in their droves to the Dorset coach. This is what Matt Hancock had to say about the whole thing on Dan Wooden's programme on Talk Radio last night. We do have those powers and if we see a spike in the number of cases, then we will take action. And we have taken that sort of local action already over the last few weeks in some other parts of the country and we'll keep absolutely vigilant. Well, local authorities in Bournemouth said they were forced into an emergency response after half a million visitors clogged up roads and blatantly flouted social distancing rules on the beaches. Chief Medical Officer Chris Whitty warned, if we do not follow social distancing guidance, then cases will rise again. Naturally, people want to enjoy the sun, but we need to do so in a way that is safe for all. So is it therefore time to close the beaches? Tobias Elwood is Conservative MP for Bournemouth each. Tobias, good afternoon to you. This is your patch, your territory. You know it as well as anyone else does. Half a million people along that coast. Yeah, we're looking forward to welcoming people in their droves on the 4th of July when hotels mm -hmm. open, restaurants and so forth, social distancing measures change. But the deluge of people that chose to go in the last couple of days was simply too much, uh, given the fact that the pressures was placed around the pier itself, which is why you ended up with a dispersal order in the pier area and then eventually, um, of course, the, uh, the major incident were called. There was mm. simply overbearing for the local authority and indeed the police as well. I hope this is a perfect storm, a combination of very limited offerings, if you think about it. Fantastic sun, where do you take the kids? Cooped up for so long, you know, schools are out, many people furloughing, therefore not working, and limited offerings, attractions are all closed. And so people did focus on going to the beach. Unfortunately, the masses just were too much, and it yeah. led to what we saw yesterday. And of course, one of the problems is that, you know, I'm sure most people go with good intentions. Everyone thinks it's only them that's had the idea of going to the beach, of course, such as the, the human condition. And when they get there, they realize, oh, goodness me, some other people have the same thoughts as us. However, despite that, most people would have thought, you know, we just want to relax and have some fun. And as you, you rightly say, we've been cooped up for months. Um, but there's another component there, Tobias Elwood, isn't there? The component that think that defecating on a pier or abusing somebody, throwing bottles, leaving litter, parking your car on a roundabout and all manner of other misdemeanors that, 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 that tend to think that's perfectly acceptable behavior for some reason. There was, and I'm afraid there was some disgusting uh, evidence of that, and you point to that. Absolutely, we, the majority of people not only abide by the law and the social distancing rules, but want to bring their family down and enjoy a wonderful day in Bournemouth. We have eight miles of beach, and this was the concern, is that everybody concentrated in one area, and that was simply too much. And there was an antisocial element as well, which simply did not help. Bournemouth is a fantastic place to go, ready to welcome, as I say, numbers of people. But until the 4th of July, it's a day trip because the hotels can't stay open. Therefore, mm -hmm. the cars, the gridlock, actually, when I came down yesterday, it actually tailed back to the M3 itself. A couple lessons learned here. First of all, wow. for the local authority to push people away from the piers themselves. Plenty of space further down the, on the beach on that eight miles of beach. And then secondly, if there is a spike in activity or a difficulty that a local authority or constabulary gets into, there must be the ability on a national perspective to take in our assets to support that local authority. Otherwise, as Chris Whitty points out, you'll end up with us ignoring all the good work that we've done and seeing a spike in the pandemic. And that would be really, really devastating. When I saw the figure, I had to have half a million, I thought that we're talking about all of Britain's beaches put together. This was just your patch, wasn't it? I know you're not the MP for all of those uh, areas, Tobias, but, I mean, this is a... I, I don't know what numbers would normally look like. Half a million people across Christchurch, Paul and Dorset. It is. It's a huge number. And like I said, it was simply overbearing, given the fact that uh, we weren't really prepared for it. Things will dilute, you know, the offerings of take what your family can actually do if you don't fancy going to the beach will change significantly on the 4th of July, and that's absolutely to be welcomed. But ultimately, there are lots of lessons to be learned here. I hope we don't repeat that. But thankfully, it's yeah. cloudy today. It's going to be raining tomorrow. You add alcohol to this whole equation on, uh, on July the 4th as well. We just need to be aware of that too. I just plead with the public, you know, listen to the government messaging because we have worked hard. Fifteen weeks have been very, very difficult indeed. All that good work will be undone if we have to reintroduce more draconian lockdown measures simply because there's numbers of daily deaths and daily cases 
start to rise again. And of course we should say that even on July the 4th, social distancing does still apply. My goodness, it's so important to say that. Until there is a vaccine, this is the new normal. Until a vaccine comes out, you may, you may, you know, I, I will be completely unaware, but might be actually passing this on, possibly not to affect yourself, but to affect some, an elderly person, a loved one. And that's what we need to be all conscious about. Tobias Elwood, thank you. Um, he is the MP for Bournemouth East. It's his neck of the woods where this happened. A major incident. Man, a major incident. How could this even be possible? You would just, I, I know I'm going to repeat the same exasperated line here, but you would just kind of think that the minute you pitched up in Bournemouth, once you sensed it was stupidly busy, you would go home again. <laughs>